Hello everyone. This video shares a few examples of how we can make video lectures while at home. So if you do not have access to a pen tablet and prefer writing on paper for recording lectures, here is one option. So you could download a free screen recorder app. Link of one such example is in the description. And you could also install the IP webcam app on your phone from Play Store. Going to the screen recorder, Chrome Web Store, add to Chrome, add extension, and we're done. So this icon that you see, this is the icon for screen recorder. Right now I'm recording the screen using another option called Screencastify. This is the Screencastify option. It says desktop is being recorded. Screencastify has the option of trimming the videos and of directly linking it to Google Drive as a shareable link and for uploading it to YouTube or Google Classroom. However, the free version allows only five minutes of recording per video and for unlimited recording, one needs to purchase its license. So I'm going ahead with the free screen recorder plugin that we just installed. So how does the screen recorder work? So we click on the plugin icon on the browser, say a few test words to test the mic and click on start recording. Now click on the screen you'd like to record and click share. Everything going on on the screen from this moment onwards will be recorded along with the audio input from the mic. So you can open your PowerPoint, switch to other software demos, use it as a sketchboard. At the end of the recording, click here and end recording. It will ask you the location and this will save the video in web and format. If you don't want to edit anything, you can directly upload this video on YouTube and share the link on Google Classroom. If you are using Screencastify, you can trim the video online and download in MP4 format. Nevertheless, even VLC player can be used to convert the video in MP4. So this is the video that we just recorded. Everything going on on the screen from this moment onwards will be recorded along with the audio input from the mic. Now how to cast the camera feed from your mobile phone onto the laptop? One option is IP webcam. You can download this app from Play Store, install it, open the app and scroll down and go to start server. When you click on start server, you should see a screen like this where what you see here is your camera feed and this is the local IP address of your cell phone camera. It's important that our phone and our laptop are on the same network and then we can enter this IP address on our browser. Every device has its own local IP address so whatever is showing on your cell phone screen that's what you've got to enter. So entering that IP address on my browser takes me to this page. Clicking on browser. This right now is the camera feed from my mobile phone. I've placed my phone on a tripod. If you don't have a tripod, you can stack a few books or boxes and clamp the phone at the right angle. So this is an A4 sheet. You have the option of zooming in or out. If you feel the illumination is not sufficient, you could turn on the LED flashlight of your phone from here itself. You also have the option of flipping the camera and activating night vision. If you're making a video lecture using the screen recorder or using this in a lab to demonstrate to an entire batch, you would want this to be in full screen. So clicking here would make it full screen. There are many other options that you could explore. You can bring in your laptop's webcam to include your own video, superimpose it somewhere as a thumbnail on the screen while recording. You could also use this setup for lab experiments. This would allow you to switch between paper notes, PowerPoint slides, and any other screen during the lecture while simultaneously recording audio and video. Suppose you want to flip the view or mirror the current view of the camera, those options are also available. You can also create access credentials on the app so that the browser asks you to log in before opening the camera feed page. Before you use any of these apps or Chrome extensions online, please make sure that they are safe to use. 
I'm using these tools here just as examples and one needs to be very careful about turning them off after recording. One should also be careful not to open any confidential information while using any of these apps. But if you have all your lecture material in PowerPoint slides, you could simply record narration directly onto your slides. So just go to your presentation, go to slideshow, record slideshow. You could choose the option to record from the beginning or from the current slide. I'm choosing to record from the beginning. Check both these options. The moment you'll click on start recording, it goes to a full screen version where you can walk through the entire presentation while narrating. So, so the narration has started. We can see the timestamp on the top left corner. So we can walk through the entire presentation, making narration. And when we are done, it will show a summary of recording on each slide and the timing of the recording on each slide and play it. So the narration has started. We can see the timestamp on the top left corner. So this is what I recorded. Okay. So you can simply save this as PowerPoint, upload it on Google Classroom and share with your students. Alternatively, you could also go to insert audio and record your audio here to include any individual sound bites to the slides. Just play it back to check if it's okay and you can simply save and upload on Google Classroom. If you have access to a digital pen tablet, you can use various sketchboards to create the board work. One of them is Windows Ink Workspace. It occupies the full screen and has all the options of a typical sketchboard. It has an interesting option of including a ruler that comes in very handy when dealing with graphs or characteristics. With a digital pad, you could also use MS Word. So the moment a pen tablet is connected, ink tools are activated. So you select a pen, make the notes and save the whole document as PDF to generate ready to share lecture notes. If you want to edit the entire video, one may use any free video editing software. You can trim irrelevant portions of the video, speed up certain portions. You may add an opening screen and a credits screen. I hope you find this useful. Thank you and stay safe.